Oh my god, I have a lot of information to share with you guys today about NVIDIA's next generation Lovelace RTX 40 GPUs. Let's talk about it. Before that, this video is brought to you by RGB Swap. If you're looking for a better alternative to eBay with lower fees and better protection, make sure to check out RGB Swap linked in the description below. Alright, so recently there has just been a ton of information about Nvidia's next generation cards leaking online, so I decided to go ahead and put together a chart today to show you guys all the various different information that I've learned so far about the RTX 4060, 4070, 4080, 4090, and potentially even 4090 Ti, and there's a lot of information to go over in this video guys and a lot of this stuff comes from leakers such as copy 7 kimi graymon 55 and red gaming tech as well as some stuff that i've heard and some speculation thrown in there as well but in any case i will have all of my sources linked in the description below but let's not waste any more time let's go ahead and get right into this now real quick before we start talking about the actual gpus themselves if you don't know lovelace is the code name for nvidia's next generation gpus and apparently according to various leaks online they are going to be based off of a five nanometer node versus the eight nanometer Samsung node that they're on right now. Now, are they going to go for 5 nanometer Samsung or 5 nanometer TSMC? That's something we don't know for sure right now. It's sounding more likely to be TSMC so they can go ahead and punch those clocks as high as possible. But at this point, yeah, we don't know 100% and we probably won't know 100% until we get a little bit closer to the launch. But either way, whether they go for Samsung 5 or TSMC 5, it's going to be a massive performance increase as it's going to allow them to pack in a ton more transistors than they can currently pack in on their Samsung. 8 nanometer node, so we're expecting a very large increase, and in fact, people like Red Gaming Tech have hinted at potentially their top-end card being over two times as powerful as something like an RTX 3090, but before we go ahead and give away any more information about their most top-end GPU, let's first start off by talking about the most entry-level GPU that I know about so far, the RTX 4060, and don't let the name entry-level fool you guys, the RTX 4060 is gonna be incredibly powerful. Now, first, in terms of the price, I am expecting the RTX 4060 to come in at around $499. Now, of course, we are a little bit of a ways away from these things releasing, so the price could change from the time that I talk about it now versus when it actually comes out. But yeah, right now, I am expecting about $499. And yes, that is going to be a pretty hefty increase over the RTX 3060. But guys, honestly, it's probably going to be worth it in terms of the price to performance because in terms of the performance, yeah, it's going to be absolutely incredible. Now, in terms of the specs, it's going to have likely around 6,656 CUDA cores, a boost clock of around 2.3 gigahertz, and likely 8 gigabytes of G6 memory, although they could also go for 12 gigabytes of G7 as well. That's something that we just simply don't know at this point. Now, in terms of the performance, I am expecting roughly around RTX 3090 levels of performance. It could be a little bit faster or even a little bit slower, and honestly, I'm probably expecting it to come in just behind the RTX 3090. So yeah, a 60 class GPU next generation could be potentially even faster than the most flagship highest end GPU you can buy this generation. This is something we haven't seen for a very, very long time, and it's going to be some really exciting stuff, a massive performance increase. Now, in terms of uh, the actual reveal date of this GPU, this is something I simply don't know as well as the availability. That's something I also don't know, as it's going to be highly dependent on what the market is like as to when they're going to start bringing out cards that are going to be lower than, say, an RTX 4070. And speaking of the RTX 4070, let's go ahead and talk about that now. Now, in terms of the price, I'm actually expecting expecting this one to come in at around $699. So yet again, another large increase in terms of the price. Now in terms of the CUDA cores, I'm expecting around 8,960, a boost clock of around 2.25 gigahertz, thanks to moving to five nanometer. And then in terms of memory, probably 16 gigabytes of G7, which in terms of performance, if you look at all these specs, we're likely gonna be looking at actually around 30% faster than in RTX 3090, a massive improvement. So those of you who are out there with an RTX 3090, actually looking at a 70 class GPU next generation might not be too bad of an idea, especially considering you're still going to be getting likely a decent amount of VRAM. Now, in terms of the reveal date, I am expecting this to be revealed in September of 2022 and actually available sometime around October of 2022. Now, moving on to the RTX 4080, here's where things are going to heat up just a little bit more. In terms of the price, I'm expecting this to come in at around $999. So the most expensive 80 class GPU GPU we have ever seen, but again, it's probably going to be worth it because in terms of the CUDA cores, we're likely looking at around 12,288, a 2.2 gigahertz boost clock, and 16 gigabytes of G7 for a total performance of likely around 60% faster than the RTX 3090. So again, another massive performance increase here. Now, in terms of
terms of the reveal date, I'm expecting once again for it to be revealed sometime in September of 2022, with an availability date actually probably late September 2022, although it is technically possible it might be pushed back into October, though I do expect that NVIDIA is going to be trying to get this card out as fast as they possibly can so they can get all kinds of sales of this before AMD actually has a chance to release their next generation RX 7000 series GPUs because those are also looking very, very competitive. Now, moving on to the RTX 4090, here's the big boy, guys. Now, this one, I'm actually expecting to come in at a price of around 1800 to 2000 US dollars, depending on what the market can bear at that point in time. Now, in terms of the CUDA core, it's probably going to have around 17,408, a boost clock of around 2.2 gigahertz once again, except for it's going to have 24 gigabytes of G7 memory. And in terms of its performance, likely around 90% faster than an RTX 3090. So yeah, another just a gargantuan performance increase, the likes of which we have not seen for a very, very, very long time. Now, in terms of the reveal date, same thing here, September 2022 availability, probably looking at October 2022, although this one could end up being pushed back another month later, depending on how the yields are panning out. That's something we just simply don't know at this point. Now, the final thing I want to talk about is the RTX 4090 Ti. Now, this one's a little bit of a question mark because I think it's ultimately going to depend on what AMD does and how aggressive they are with their cards as to whether or not NVIDIA is going to be releasing this card and how fast they're going to actually release it. Now, in terms of the price i'm expecting this thing to come in probably around two thousand dollars potentially even higher than that depending on when it releases and then in terms of its cuda core count we're probably looking at the full fat 144 streaming multiprocessors which means a total of 18,432 cuda cores a boost clock of probably around 2.4 gigahertz although i have a little bit of a question mark on that one as we just simply don't know uh, how good the actual node they're going to be using is going to be with their architecture uh, but i definitely see them pushing the power as far as possible to get as much performance out of their top end GPU as they possibly can to try and get as close as they can to the 7900 XT as I do believe the 7900 XT will be even faster than this and Nvidia is going to have to pull basically all the stops to be competing with that card. Now in terms of the memory we're probably looking at the same 24 gigabytes of G7 here. In terms of performance I'm expecting 100% plus over the RTX 3090 so the <laughs> just an ridiculous amount of performance out of the RTX 4090 Ti. If you're looking at this card, you better be playing in 4K like 240 hertz because otherwise or, or doing right tracing or something because otherwise I don't even know what you're going to do with that amount of performance, at least with current games out right now. Now in terms of the reveal date, honestly this is another one where I just simply don't know at this point because it's really going to depend on what AMD is doing uh, with their cards as to whether or not they're going to release this and what time. So same goes for the availability date. I simply have no idea for this card. But there you have it. There's absolutely everything I know about the RTX 4060, 4070, 4080, 4090, and possibly even 4090 Ti based on all the various different leaks and rumors and everything that I've heard thus far. There's a lot of stuff there. Uh, honestly, guys, I'd like to hear what you guys think about the release dates and the prices about all these cards as honestly things can change as time goes by. So I'd love to see what you guys think in the comments below. If you like these type of videos, make sure to drop a like, drop a comment below, and subscribe. And honestly, uh, drop a comment below if you want to see me do the same thing for the RX 7000 series because we do have a lot of information on that as well. And I think it is handy to just have a nice little chart so we can go ahead and look at it and look back as things change to see, you know, how accurate did it end up being? Did things change? Did they stay the same? You know, was it 100% accurate, 90% accurate, or whatever ends up being? Honestly, either way, I always enjoy making these types of videos. I think it's a lot of fun to sit down and just do the math and try and figure out exactly how fast these cards are going to be. So again, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a comment below. But that's everything I have to say about this one. And I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. But hey, that's just what I think. What do you think about the RTX 40 series. Let me know your guys' thoughts in the comments below, and of course, I'll see you in the next video. If you made it to the end of the video, be sure to drop a like. Every time you do so, AMD and Nvidia get more stock. Also, if you want to see more, click here. You won't be disappointed.